not live from Studio B. This is Baker News. I'm Kate. And I'm Ruby. And this week on Baker News. Art Club will meet Thursday, October 19th in room G402. Be sure to check Google Classroom for updates. The meeting will discuss finger painting and postmodern nouveau surrealist pottery. Seniors, the deadline to submit portraits, quotes, and your second grade photo is October 15th, just days away. It was a tough choice, but I know which portrait I'm going to submit. Today is the last day you can buy 2023 homecoming shirts at the concession stand by Bay 3 for $15. Or, for $15, you can buy a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts. For $5, I'll give you a quarter to flip. The homecoming dance is unfortunately canceled due to a lack of chaperones. Senior Council will not be accepting complaints and or acts of violence. Personally, I think the only chaperone that did sign up, Mr. Burler, could have handled the whole thing on his own. Today is the last day to find a Baker News representative to purchase Krispy Kreme donuts. Orders will be delivered on Monday, October 23rd. To the one kid that's been chasing me around for the past two weeks, please stop. I already let you put in 43 orders. Other people need donuts. The second movie night of the year will be held on Friday, October 20th from 7 to 9 p.m. All Baker students are welcome. Tickets can be purchased during lunch at the concession stand next to Bay 3 for $5 or at the door for $6. It's too spooky to joke about. In wider world news, the world's tallest wooden building has been greenlit for construction in Australia. It will topple the previous wooden tower height record set by the Ascent Tower in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which stands at 86 meters. The new tallest tower will stand at 191 meters tall and be made of over 40% wood. Hopefully this doesn't end up like the Tower of Babel. Blah, blah, blah. Breaking news. A new species of snail has been discovered in the Florida Keys and has been named Cayo Margarita after Jimmy Buffett's song Margaritaville. Sadly, I made a deal a thousand and one years ago with this very same snail for immortality, so I can't go anywhere near it. <laughs> It seems our friend Ben has experienced a tremendously terrible case of bad luck, courtesy of Friday the 13th. Let's check out how our favorite Redditor handled this bountiful bout of misfortune. I, 17 male, am experiencing an unusual amount of bad luck today. It all started when I woke from my beauty sleep to see my darling Fedora at the foot of my bed, just in time for Fedora Friday. to not be able to keep my feet under me. Needless to say, by the time I got to school, I was in a bit of a sour mood. I even accidentally ran into the local serial killer. Hey, aren't you supposed to be wielding a machete? We had a little disagreement that resulted in my speedy exit. <sighs> Who in the Great Gatsby was that guy? <laughs> Good thing I'm out of that doozy. He's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> I was a wee bit winded by the time my feline familiar helped me out of that dilly of a pickle. Feline foe to feline friend. But at least the worst part was over. <laughs> oh, fiddlesticks. Be sure to check us out on Instagram at Baker News underscore, on our YouTube channel, Baker News on WBXL TV, and on our TikTok at Baker News WBXL. You can also visit our website at bakerlibrary.org or email us at baker news at beville.org. This has been Baker News on WBXL TV. Thanks for watching.